Well, today we're going to talk about the vacuum system and the headlight actuators on my 74 Marquis Brome hardtop, which is a super rare car. This is the last of the hardtops from Ford, the true hardtops. After this, they had what they called the pillared hardtop. But you can see this car has no B pillar in the middle. It just has the two glass panes that meet up in the middle. And in 1974, Ford made about 4,000 of these, and... They are super rare to find now. Here you can see it has just a single exhaust from the factory and the big five mile an hour bumpers. And this has the bumper protection group, which has the rub strip in the bumper and in the bumper guards. So given that they made so few of them, they are super, super rare to find today. And I'd been searching for one for about 10 years and wasn't able to find one and this one was sold to me by a friend who bought it several years ago he just didn't have time for it needed a few little things and i was more than happy to take it off his hands so let's talk a little bit more about the headlight actuator system on this car so here's what this looks like when these headlight actuators are going bad this car has been parked for about four hours and they're starting to pop open they have a spring in in them that basically if they lose vacuum that it will raise the door on its own so i'm guessing if i pull these down these are going to be have rusted pinholes on the crimps or if i shake them i'll hear things rattling because something internally has failed this usually unfortunately is not a vacuum leak although that can happen there's a number of vacuum reservoirs for this including a big one right there there's another coffee can vacuum reservoir but this is the main one in here for the uh, headlights so the good news is it's not that hard to get these out on the 73 through 78 you just take that little clip off there are two 7 16th nuts you take off on the bottom and you pull the actuator out from the bottom after disconnecting two vacuum hoses that's really about it. And installation is pretty easy as well. On the Mark III's, this is not a fun job. It is much harder. This clip is kind of in the middle of a door, uh, a door actuator here. And this, this clip is so hard to get back on when uh, you're doing it on a Mark III. And there's other things that I've done it years ago that I'm forgetting. I just remember these, I can have this out in 20 minutes. A Mark III, I think it took me three or four hours. It was not fun. And when you get new headlight motors or NOS ones, you also want to make sure to replace your check valves. So there's one there. And usually these AC cars have more than one. So we'll have to check all the different lines going the vacuum tea. I can't remember where they are on the 74s, but it's also a good idea to replace those. They tend to go as well. Unfortunately, the 71s and 2s of this generation, they have one single motor in the middle that activates a rod that goes out to either side. And that system is very reliable. For whatever reason, in 73 through 78, they changed to the system where there's two headlight motors, one on either side, and they're both tucked up there. There it is. You can see it's been there undisturbed for its life. And in 73, they changed the setup with two, two headlight motors and in 74, they started making the casings out of this really cheap pot metal that it just corrodes from the inside. You get a little bit of moisture in the system and it corrodes from the inside. This is not a car, you know, a lot of the cars that I have, my other 74 was an Arkansas car. I never saw any salt or anything. It's just the interior of the system gets moisture and corrodes them from the inside out. So I'm going to take these out, get them ready to be rebuilt to have some NOS ones put in. But this applies to Lincoln's and Mercury products from most of them from 73 through 78 have this dual actuator setup and the dual actuator setup is more troublesome 
the one single motor in the middle here is actually a really reliable setup. My 71s and 2s, the headlight doors will stay closed for three months or longer. And these were supposed to stay closed for several days. So if you see yours popping open like this after a couple hours, they're going bad. They don't have a whole lot of time left. The inner diaphragm is ripping or something like that. So just thought I'd share with you some tips of the trade here. Well, there we go. 20 minutes and they're both out. So these are just loose now. They're heavy, so they will stay down on their own. You can see the rod is gone from here. And that's what they look like. And they have a really tough spring in here, you know, to compress it. it takes a lot of a lot of force to really move it. It's hard with one hand. But that's what they look like. Pretty easy to get out. Usually along the crimp line, they have little pinholes. That's what I've seen. Let's see. No, nothing. I don't hear anything internally when I shake them, but they're just starting to fail. This one looks really good. I don't see any issues along the crimp line. And this is part number D3MB13A167-AC. Let's see if it's the same left and right. D3MB13C004AC. So they are different. One is 13C004AC, one is 13A167AC. So just beware, these don't actually rotate. So it's pretty easy not to mix them up. You know, if you have the passenger, this has to be the passenger side because this hooks into the headlamp door on the passenger side of the car. This must be the driver's side. I said that and I actually think they mount this way. <laughs> so this one, this one might be the, ah, who knows? I guess I should have figured that one out. It's pretty easy though, once you mount them, you'll, these mounting brackets only go one way. So not a hard job. Thanks for watching this video on the headlight actuators on my 74 Mercury Marquee. If you enjoyed it please be sure to like comment and subscribe as that helps the youtube algorithm serve it up to more video watchers like you and if you'd like to email me do so at rareclassiccars at yahoo.com and until the next video check out the thumbnails at the bottom left and right for some suggestions for you thanks again for watching and until next time take care